you feel overwhelmed and unmotivated lately? Do you find yourself not enjoying things that you were once passionate about? You may believe you are just being lazy, but in reality, these behaviors could be signs that you are experiencing burnout. Burnout is a negative state of being emotionally, physically, and mentally exhausted. Long-term exposure to high stress levels and a poor ability to cope with that stress can be the cause. The difference between laziness and burnout can sometimes be difficult to spot. Because of this, we need to learn more about ourselves to understand our situation better. Now, let's look at the indications that what you are going through right now is not laziness but burnout. You feel disconnected from everything. Do you feel empty? And numb? Do you ever feel that you're not the same person you used to be? You are going about your daily life like you're on autopilot. You have a disconnection both with yourself and with the world around you. It alters your sense of identity to the point where you no longer recognize yourself. If this is the case, you may be experiencing depersonalization which is a typical sign of burnout and can be very uncomfortable. Depersonalization is characterized by an ongoing disconnection from one's identity. It's as if you are observing your life outside, looking in. Even though you don't feel anything is holding you captive, you still struggle with a crippling sense of helplessness and an inability to regain control of your lives. Even though you feel like you are going through it alone, you should be aware that many other people have gone through the same thing. You can look for at least one person to connect with in a secure environment to talk about the symptoms you are currently experiencing. Although you are exhausted, taking that simple step can make a big difference in how you interact with the people around you. You become moody and irritable. Do you find that you easily get irritated these days? Do you feel like you're losing control of your emotions lately, but you're unsure why? You used to be able to handle your feelings about everything with ease, but recently you've noticed that this is becoming increasingly difficult for you to do. You seem to be in a gloomy mood, as though something is always wrong. There is a possibility that what you are going through is burnout if you start exhibiting irritability that is out of character for you. On the other hand, lazy people are often relaxed, laid back, and unaffected by the things around them. The first step to getting through this feeling is to acknowledge it. Then, you can pinpoint and see what is going on in a bigger picture that makes you very irritated. Is it something external, like a comment made? Or is it something internal, like negative self-talk? If this is the case, Try exercising gratitude to be reminded of the simple pleasures that bring you happiness. You feel overwhelmed by day-to-day -day activities. Getting through everything on our to-do list can be stressful, and at times it can feel overwhelming. Adding too much to your plate at once is another potential source of stress for people who experience it. It's a common misconception that being able to multitask can boost productivity. Despite this, studies have shown that it can lead to a decrease in productivity due to switching costs whenever we switch between tasks. If you have excessive responsibilities to manage and are stressed out due to juggling many tasks at once, this could be a sign that you are experiencing burnout. Recognizing when you haven't made an effort to take a break or step back can be a key to preventing burnout from occurring in your own life. You are no longer motivated. Are you no longer certain of your goals? One of the characteristics of a lazy person is sloth. Personality traits rarely change throughout a lifetime. Laziness is a general dislike of putting effort into things and making an effort to reach goals. But if you used to be motivated, had specific goals in life, and excelled in some areas but only recently became constantly exhausted, unmotivated, and apathetic, it is more likely not because you are lazy. However, it could be because you are experiencing burnout at this point. And as a result, your productivity goes down a lot, 
and you may even find it hard to do things that used to be easy for you. You neglected your self-care. Lazy people, as a rule, do not bother to take good care of themselves, whether mentally, physically, or even emotionally. On the other hand, individuals who are burned out weren't always like this in the past. One of the most important signs that a person may be experiencing physical and emotional burnout is when they stop taking care of themselves and spending time with others. Because they are so easily worn down by even the most basic of responsibilities, they tend to spend their time by themselves doing nothing productive. Alterations have also been made to the patterns of their eating and sleeping. People who have reached the point of burnout stop caring about their appearance and stop putting effort into it. You used to be very passionate. Finding enjoyment and interest in activities about which one was once passionate is another sign of burnout. It could be the foods you eat, the sports you participate in, or your hobbies. You may find it boring, pointless, or even irritating. That's because burnout makes it hard for you to do the things you once love or fulfilling about. It can feel like a sudden shift or a gradual change. You might not even be aware of it and think that things have lost their shine or that you prefer something different now. As a result, it's crucial to determine whether the experience resulted from factors inside or outside of the person. You isolate yourself. You might be an introvert, but that doesn't mean you enjoy spending all your time alone. If you find that you are pulling away from people close to you, such as your friends and family members, there may be something wrong with you. You enjoy isolating yourself from others and consistently turning down invitations to events you have looked forward to attending. You always feel exhausted when you get together or socialize with other people. A sign of burnout is when a person withdraws into themselves and lacks the energy to engage with other people. Pay attention when you notice a change in your usual social behavior. You feel extremely tired all the time. According to the findings of numerous studies, one of the major contributors to burnout is not getting enough sleep. It's possible that you won't even be aware of it, but not getting enough sleep can cause you to experience various unpleasant physical symptoms, such as a loss of appetite, headaches, or nausea. So, sleeping well each night can help you deal with stress. It is not easy to get to sleep when your mind is racing about your responsibilities at work or worries about the future. If you are having trouble falling or staying asleep, try creating a relaxing environment conducive to good health. It implies not working from your bed and converting your room into a place where you only sleep. Before you go to bed, Practicing certain routines like listening to relaxing music or meditating can help your brain recognize that it is time to start winding down and getting some shut eye. You can also give yourself time and space to recover from burnout and recharge by engaging in activities that bring you the most pleasure. It would be best if you tried to consult with an expert, such as a general practitioner or therapist, as this can help you get additional support in coping with the symptoms of burnout. These changes happen gradually. The most important fact you must be aware of is that burnout occurs in stages. So, when we think about everything we've talked about so far, they don't happen all at once but gradually over time. Based on the results of different studies, there are five main stages of burnout, and each one worsens as time progresses. The stages include the honeymoon phase, the beginning of stress, chronic stress, burnout, and habitual burnout. Many experience symptoms as early as the second phase when moderate stress exists. Still, optimism, interest, motivation, and performance may start declining. By the time you reach the fifth and final stage, burnout has become so embedded in your life that persistent mental and physical fatigue becomes more intense and harder to treat. That will make you more vulnerable to developing depression and anxiety. 
Knowing this may help you understand how critical it is to pay closer attention to your overall health, including your mental, physical, and emotional states. So, you can either avoid burnout by taking precautions or recognize that you are already experiencing it and look for a solution before it worsens. Because there are instances in which people experience burnout without even being aware of it. Do you relate to any of these signs? Which one that you relate the most? Feel free to comment down below and share your thoughts. Please like and share this video if it helps you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thank you, and we will see you next time.